Hello guys, uh, this is Shaw and in this video I will show you how you can play torrent files directly in Kodi uh, from your laptop or from your desktop. Uh, so if you are a torrent lover and you download HD movies or HD media content and then later play it on your TV, uh, well I would say now there is no need to download. You can directly uh, play the torrent files from your Chrome browser and you can watch it on your TV. So I will be using a torrenter add-on uh, inside Kodi. Uh, and torrenter add-on is available through the my shows repository and I have downloaded the my shows repository on my box and uh, you will need to download the my shows repository so that we can install the torrenter add-on and you can see if you go uh, if you scroll a little bit down and then click on the show more option which will show you the description of this video and I have provided you the download link of my shows repository there so you can download my shows repository on your box and then uh, I will show you the next step so uh, just go ahead and download the my shows repository uh, on your box and the next steps are as follows so um, once we have uh, downloaded the my shows repository we'll go into uh, Kodi which is XBMC media center in my case so I will go ahead and uh, uh, go on to XBMC uh, media center and uh, I will click OK which will take me inside um, you need to do is you need to go on to system so go on to system and then go on to system info so once you're on the system info uh, you need to note down your IP address because we will need this later on so IP address is 192.168.1.2 so note this down and then go back on uh, one step and it will take you back to the main Kodi screen. So once again we are on the main Kodi screen, go back onto system and then go on to settings and press OK. So once you are on to the settings you will see all these options and you need to go on to services. So go on to services and press OK and you will see all these options. Uh, and from these options you need to go on to a web server and from web server uh, click on allow remote control on the right side you can see allow remote control the right radio button on the right side is is gray at the moment so I will click OK which turns the radio button blue and makes it active so I make sure that this uh, turns blue and the port number you can note down is 8080 so uh, web server that's it and remote control on the remote control section you can uh, go ahead and you can see that the first option is allow remote control by programs on this system which is uh, blue the radio button is blue but the next step is allow remote control by programs on other systems we need to make the radio button blue so I'm clicking OK on it and it is enabled now it is blue so these two options make sure uh, are blue and also the uh, web server allow remote control via HTTP should be on. So once these two things are done, um, you will go back and then go back once again. I will return back to the main Kodi screen. Once you're on the main Kodi screen, go back into system, click OK on system and then go on to add-ons click OK on add-ons and as we have already downloaded the my shows repository so we'll go on to install from zip file from here click OK and from here we can go on to root file system so go on to root file system and it will show you a list of files list of folders and go down to SD card so you can see SD card here SD card folder so click OK and you will see all these folders and then from here you can go on to download so if you go on to download it will show you the repository dot my shows dot me dot zip so this is the repository that I downloaded so I will click OK on this and you can see my shows dot me Kodi repository add-on enabled at the bottom so add-on has been enabled and uh, now we're back on the screen and we'll go on to install from repository so and from in here we'll go on to myshows.me Kodi repository 
so clicking OK on it and then it shows all these options we'll go on to video add-ons click OK and then we'll go on to torrenter and click OK so you can see when I click OK on torrenter it shows me this install option and I will hit install so it's installing as of now and uh, um, you can see uh, it's on 50% around 50% right now and it, it will just take a few you know moments to uh, download to complete so torrenter is add-on is enabled and we'll go back on the main Kodi screen so I will go back one or two steps uh, more than one or two steps I can say so return back to the main Kodi screen go back and you can see from here there is videos option and from videos option go on to add-ons option click OK and you will see the torrenter there so click OK on torrenter once you click OK on torrenter it shows you this um, different language you will click OK and click OK again and it shows you this interface the first option it gives you the settings the first option is the interface language change it to English so I'm clicking OK on it and it shows me the English uh, so that we don't get confused with all the notifications that it shows us so we're on English right now and you can see the rest of the options are there if you want to you know check them out you can check them out but one more thing that we need to do here is advanced and uh, we'll go on a P2P network and save files to folder this option you need to make sure that you have selected some folder uh, otherwise it gives you an error though it plays the files but it, it shows you some errors uh, so we'll need to uh, click save files to folder and click OK on this and then um, select the ones you want select the folder you want so root file system uh, and then I will go on to SD card and then I will go to download so for me I will just you know go with the download folder so click OK here on the right side click OK so SD card download is my folder for saving uh, for saving the files so I will click OK at the bottom uh, so we have done everything that we need to do on our Dropbox on our Kodi now we will head back to our laptop and we'll see how we can play the torrent files directly so this is the Chrome browser we're using and uh, for this uh, we'll be using the Chrome browser extension so make sure that you are on the Chrome browser and then go on to Chrome extensions search in Google for Chrome extensions and the first result is Chrome Web Store so go on to Chrome Web Store and then search for play to Kodi and hit enter it shows you all these options extensions. so uh, play to Kodi is the extension that we will be using to play our torrent files directly so I have already added it to my Chrome so in case you need to add this uh, you have not added it so add it onto your Chrome uh, Chrome browser so you will see this kind of option add to Chrome but for me it's only rated because I have already added it so uh, once you add it you will see this um, icon here at the top here you can see my cursor so this you can click on it and then you can press on the uh, these two cogs the settings so once you're on the settings make sure the URL that we noted down the, the IP address it is set to what uh, we noted it down earlier from Kodi so it's 192.168.1.2 which we uh, have noted down and the port is 8080 and and uh, before I go back or hit save we will go on to others and here you can see add on for torrent or magnet links so this is the file this is the option that you need to select from all these options I select torrenter because I use the torrenter add-on so it will it works pretty well so go ahead with that select torrenter and on that I'll hit save and then I'll go back and right click on the magnet link and we'll click play to Kodi so you can see the magnet link is here the red one looking like a magnet so right click on it and play to Kodi and play now so after I hit play now I will go back to my Kodi screen and see what is happening there so you can see it's showing opening stream
this is it for this uh, video. Uh, this is how you can play your Torian files uh, with the magnet links. Uh, just play the magnet with links with through the play to Cody extension and uh, you are good to go. So thanks for watching this video and please do not forget uh, to like this video and also to subscribe to our channel. We'll be back with more useful videos for you. Thank you. Cheers for now. Bye-bye.